Hi, here I am again. It is Monday the 17th. I am confident about that as I have just returned from work and it was the 17th all day long. I'm gonna try and get a walk in before my evening call for my son and <clears throat> just keep this, this mission going forwards. We are going to keep walking. I was thinking about saying walking the mile, walking the mile and referencing that movie, but I hope that is not the mile I'm walking. <clears throat> so one of the interesting things I watched yesterday was the 60 Minutes news report about the UFOs. I'm a big fan of UFOs. I think um, come June, we'll probably have disclosure that the US government has been following UFOs for quite a long time. I've written a couple articles about it. Um, I'm always trying to read up on the story and follow the news links. And um, today the drug rep brought us food. I have eaten well again. And anyway, she likes UFOs and so does her husband. And we had a delightful conversation about where we are and where we think we are and all these interesting things that keep coming up in the news, like the Omaha ship that tracked the UAP or UFO on infrared and watched it descend into the ocean. Well, what I liked about the 60 minute show is Lewis, well, I can't think of his last name at the moment, but. He answered the leading question, are UFOs real? And I, I liked his answer. He, he offered clarity. Um, I think we're beyond that. The US government is telling you they're real. They're here. And can't have much more clarity than that. Do they know more than we, do the, do, does the government know more than we, we know? There's no way to know. Uh, once they come forward, there, there seems to be enough stories about black ops, but do they really know or do they just want us to think they know? Um, I mean, I've read lots of stuff. and So yes, there's like the secret military space force that is backwards engineering or has backwards engineered um, extraterrestrial craft. There's group of people that suggest that SG-1 is a secret soft disclosure program and that they actually have Stargate-like devices where they can travel from here to Mars and from here to other worlds. I would like that. I'd like to think that Star Trek is actually real and that's why the Space Force adopted the Starfleet symbol on their flag. Of course, if you also look at the symbol on the Chinese lunar rover, they use the same symbol. I didn't know we, we, we were working together, but apparently we're in cahoots because we're all using the same symbol. Anyway, that, the, that conversation got me through the day. That was fun. No one else really wants to hear about UFOs, even when I'm like pointing out, it's not just me, it's 60 minutes. <laughs> um, it was a good day. Um, helped a couple people get to where they need to be. Everybody's walking. So what are you thankful for? Do you ever get a quiet moment to sit down and think about stuff you're grateful for? Sometimes just having a moment to sit down and think is something nice to have. Filling eight minutes of conversation is not always easy. I will link some of the UFO stories that I've written in this article and I think I'll leave the 60 minutes one. I think people should see that. Um, 
I think you should see David Fravor, especially the Lex Friedman um, episode, the full one, not just the bits and pieces. When you, when you listen to David speak in that video, I think that one captures how remarkably normal human he is. He's, he just seems like a, like a great guy. Probably biased because he was Navy and my dad was Navy. Of course, he was a pilot. My dad was fixing the airplanes. I got stories from my dad about fixing airplanes and um, being on the carrier. Um, when I was, I don't know how old I was, 70, sometime between 78 and, no, between 60, between 74 and 78, I think we were in Florida and he was on the Saratoga and they had a family day where we could all go on the ship and, and so my dad took me. They were gonna have a three day outing. I was not allowed to go because of my asthma. So I had to stay home. I could not convince the captain to take me and I told him, like if I had an attack, you could fly me back to the base, launch me off the carrier. And he said, no, you're off my ship. <laughs> So, darn it, being launched off a carrier might have been fun. So, my dad has said he's seen UFOs. My uncle that got my dad into the Navy reported seeing UFOs. I, I suspect, he never used this word, that he may have participated in a version of the Stargate program where they were developing psychic spies it's just my theory but he talked about being a part of a group where they they brought in what do you call it Depreda deprivation tanks and tried to create altered states and they gave lots of folks LSD to help them have out-of-body experiences while in these containers so it's always been around my uncle is pretty, pretty fantastic. Had some interesting people in my life. I've been blessed in that sense, so. So what are we thankful for today? Food, drug reps, not sure. That's a market or, I don't understand that market, but they, they, they fed, fed the whole office. That was nice. Thankful for traffic. It wasn't too bad today takes about 45 minutes to an hour to get home from, from work. Thankful for getting home. Thankful for being able to walk. I hope you guys are having a good evening. I wish you well. See you next time. Bye.